So uh, the key topics for today, the, the key changes, the, the key differences that we are having, and that's a new version numbering system, uh, OpenLM server security, OpenLM identity service, uh, move to MariaDB and Kestrel on the database and uh, HTTP uh, front, server configuration through the easy admin interface uh, that you'll be able to see, uh, talk a little bit about the directory synchronization and uh, I, want, I wanted to call it extensions, but directory synchronization is now not an extension. It's a full-fledged on standalone product. A report scheduler broken agent, what's different there? Uh, and close it out with a couple of sentences just to, for uh, the new support for the REST API and uh, what is coming on the Linux front. And a quick conclusion. So let me get straight to it. The things you will probably see the first in the, the new version is a new version numbering system. Uh, where is this coming from? Uh, what, what's the idea behind it? So currently we were using sequence release numbers, as you know, 5.6.3 uh, right now is actually the latest version. The new numbering system will be composed, as you can see here, uh, of year, month, date, and build number. So uh, the, the logic, the formula will be year, that month, that date, that hours and minutes. So as you can see, I'm showcasing a simple example here, 21.05.30.10.30 is a version that you know was released or will be released on 21st of May, 2021 at exactly 10.30. So this is when the release uh, build is actually finished. Why uh, do we make this change? And I understand it may seem a little bit confusing at the beginning, but the, the logic behind is clear. Uh, OpenLM is growing, the number of components is growing. We, we now have some standalone uh, products as the DSS, we have add-ons as the broker, the report scheduler, the agent. And uh, as I have already spoken with some of you, Stefan, for example, sometimes it's hard to keep the, the compatibility matrix between the different products up to, up to date. And uh, we understand that the, this new versioning num numbering system is not going to actually resolve this issue right away, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thought into the future. So uh, once we actually uh, are able to move all of our all-term customers to the latest version, starting from version 2105, uh, they will all be on the, on the same version. They will have all the components on the same version. And there won't be that much confusion that we have right now, where we sometimes need to need to come up with uh, with an answer to, so is this agent actually compatible with this uh, OpenLM server version? Is this broker version compatible? Is the, is the report scheduler compatible? Uh, so this is a... Uh, long-term solution, but uh, we really do hope that it will fix this confusion. All the release components of OpenLM will be covered. And as, as, as example, as I said, server, broker, you know, a manager, agent. Okay, let's move forward. OpenLM security and OpenLM identity service. You will notice uh, one of the main things with this new release is that there is, um, it may look like there is not really that many changes done on the front end. There are not many changes that you see right away. You open the interface and as I'm going to showcase later uh, when we do the installation together, uh, it looks pretty similar. But the huge changes, the big changes were done on the back end. Uh, we are living in a world where information security, IT security, cybersecurity. These are all buzzwords that you hear uh, on a daily basis. Uh, all of our customers and by extension, your customers are requiring more and more secure solution. Uh, something simple like an HTTP authentication that goes open through the network is no longer viable. We know that we are dealing with these problems every day. The customers or the prospects are requesting this. So a lot of effort, and uh, I really mean a lot of effort, was invested into making OpenLM more secure. And with that comes the OpenLM uh, identity service. What is going away? And I want to start with this because uh, that's probably something that uh, many of us are scared. You know, I lead the support department, so it's one of the things that we are scared as well, since we are the, on the front lines talking to the customers all the time. The internal user authentication is no longer uh, provided, and with it, the guest user is also going. Oh, I'm sorry, also going away. If you install OpenRealm now as a standalone system, it's now an open system. You can, you can access the easy admin without any authentication. That's what's gone. What's replacing it is a completely reworked security system, a new product uh, that we call OpenLM Identity Service. Uh, 
OpenLM Identity Service is a standalone system and it provides authentication and identity. It's built from scratch on the industry standard OAuth 2.0, which is complying with the highest security standards that we know are being requested by our customers, by our prospects, and overall by the IT security world, as it is. The OpenLM Identity Service will be required for the roles and permissions functionality. With this new identity service also comes an automated Windows login, which we know some of our customers requested uh, previously, when, even when you were using the IIS extension and you were running the easy admin on the IIS and you were using your Windows credentials, you still uh, needed to, to provide and click them when you're logging. With the new version, uh, when you have it enabled, you will be able to open the interface and all the authentication will be done automatically on the backend. The long-term goal for OpenLM Identity Service is to expand and actually exist as an identity and authentication provider for other solutions that the customers may have and uh, are based on OAuth 2.0. The same way that we are actually bringing the OpenLM directory synchronization now as a standalone product, you know, that will be able not tied to OpenLM, but we'll be able to grab the data from the various directory services that our customers or prospects use and uh, move them to another database, to another, to another storage. Next is uh, what I call MariaDB and Kestrel. And this is uh, a technical move uh, on the backend, on the database and on the HTTP server front end. So database support. FireDBird, as, as you know, is discontinued. We are actually pushing our customers to migrate. It, this, was, uh, this decision was done due to main couple different reasons, mainly it's uh, due to performance and of course security issues. So the new, uh, in quotes, bundled in database, even though it's, it's not really bundled in because you need to install it as a, as a standalone service, is the MariaDB. MariaDB is a, is a free version of MySQL. It's, does, it has uh, very good support. You know, it has better performance compared to FireDB. It has better, better security. And of course, uh, there is the continuous support for the external databases, uh, MS SQL and MySQL, which again, uh, most of the, the bigger customers use. On the uh, HTTP frontend, like TPD uh, and uh, with it, uh, the PHP libraries that were re required are no longer required. This is completely gone. Uh, it's been rebuilt with uh, the Kestrel, uh, web server, which is now running on the backend and the front end. Uh, the Kestrel uh, does basically what IIS was doing, doing for us uh, previously. Uh, it provides better performance, it provides multi-threading, it provides better security, and it's bundled it so there is uh, no longer an additional Microsoft IIS installation required. Number four, and uh, this is one of the first points that actually is something that you will be able to see right away. As you all know previously, all the OpenLM configuration, uh, the basics were done on the backend through the OpenLM server application that was installed uh, on the OpenLM server, which is where you could access all the different license managers that you had set up. This again is now gone. The server configuration is moved to the easy admin. And uh, we did a couple of ideas. So you can do the license server configuration now through the easy admin. You can do the SMTP settings configuration now through the easy admin. And I will actually showcase you once we are successful with the installation of the OpenLM server today, how does it look? The idea again uh, is a mesh between convenience and security. So uh, as far as convenience go, of course, it's easier for the license manager, the customer, or the license administrator to just be able to access everything through the OpenLM Easy Admin interface, which is where, you know, it's one of the, where OpenLM came from in the beginning anyway, it was to make sure that everything is in one place, that the customer actually does not need to access uh, several different interfaces to be able to do their license management, to be able to get the reports, to be able to see their data. So. This is the convenience portion, but uh, there is also the security portion. And uh, this may not be the case for the small or even maybe the medium customers, but for the bigger corporations, uh, again, the, the world is being more and more tightened when it comes to security. So uh, there is there are no longer users uh, that do just have access to open loan server or to servers in general. You will be hard pressed to find the, within the big customers, uh, people who get access to the OpenLM server and they have access to the OpenLM database server. And they are at the same time also managing OpenLM. So, you know, usually there are separate departments that uh, 
take management of these different portions of IT. Uh, so it's uh, no longer required for the OpenLM admin to actually access the OpenLM server to be able to remote connect to it, which again, improves the security uh, by proxy. Now it's maybe not directly tied to OpenLM uh, as a product, but by proxy, since the OpenLM administrator or the OpenLM user no longer requires access to the server, the customer can actually provide better data when they are audited. Because you know the one of the first things uh, during an IT security audit is they look why do these people have access to these servers? What's going on there? Do they actually really need it? So with this, uh, with this change, uh, we kind of hoped to close this gap. So I'm looking forward to see and hear your feedback on that. Now let's talk a little bit uh, about uh, on the add-ons, the extensions and directory sync as, as a standalone product. So uh, with directory sync, again, comes the support with the new directory sync that uh, 21.5 with the new version, comes the support for OpenLM identity service. You will be able to connect these two on the back end, which increases the security. Vmote again, support for Fire, DB Fiber database uh, for the directory sync. So now you can choose or the customer can choose uh, from the bundled MariaDB or of course, also going with the Microsoft SQL or, or MySQL. The communication protocol between the OpenLM server and uh, the directory synchronization has been changed from uh, SOAP to, to REST API. So that's it. as for the broker, agent, and report schedule. So the new, the new version of the broker. The new version of the broker is actually required uh, for integration with OpenLM server and identity services. So we uh, require that the customers actually do the upgrade of the broker first to make sure that the brokers can uh, connect uh, easily with the new version of the OpenLM server and the OpenLM identity. Uh, the team has worked hard internally to make sure that the new version of the broker is also backwards compatible with the current OpenLM releases. So there should be no, no harm in actually upgrading the, the brokers at the beginning. Report scheduler, another service that is being integrated with the OpenLM identity for the security. And uh, the new version of the agent that's actually not coming up right now, but hopefully it will come pretty soon. It will be released after the main OpenLM server. Uh, the agent is now being multi-platform. You know, there is Linux support and uh, you will be seeing the new interface of the agent soon, which uh, actually will come with the personal dashboard where the users will be able to see uh, a lot more personalized information about how they utilize the licenses. And uh, to conclude the presentation, uh, all of our APIs are now REST APIs. So there is a long-term investment and effort in supporting the API in a more comprehensive way that we do now. And the Linux support again coming uh, after we released this main version, uh, which will include uh, now support for OpenLM server and OpenLM agent as well. 